Okay, I'm outside with my five largest snakes, my three red tail boas, my two albino Burmese pythons. And we're just giving them some time to stretch out, be out of the cage and get some fresh air. Uh, we're looking at Booth right now. He's about five and a half feet long, red tail boa male. Okay, here is my female red tail boa. She's kind of lighter than the other two. Her name is Bones. And she's such a pretty little girl. Yes, she is. Well, we just moved the female. There she is. There's the female. Behind her is the male, Booth. And way down in the yard is Ricardo. So we're going to go get him. He is a monster. He's probably about seven and a half feet long. Sorry about all the traffic. I didn't realize everybody in the world was going to drive on my street today. That's Ricardo. Okay, apparently the Burmese are tired because they are not moving too much. They've only left about three feet away from where I put them and they've been out here for a good 20 minutes. But there is little Buttercup. She's actually about to shed. You can see her skin is coming loose right here on her back. She's supposed to shed any time now. And here, of course, is Nano. He's checking Buttercup out. He is in love with her. And I mean in love. I took her out to give her a bath two times this week to kind of help soften her skin for the shed. And he got very upset. He was all over that cage looking for her. I mean, he was just very, very upset that I took her out of the cage. <laughs> but, uh, it's cute. Um... There's a little buttercup. She's about seven and a half feet long. And Nano is getting close to probably eight to eight and a half feet long. She's as big around as he is, but he's a little longer. Now the female albino Burmese, or any Burmese really, does get bigger than the male. Here is the boy. Oh again and the little girl we are just going to put my hand under their bellies lift them up a little bit there you go there they go And I was like, hey, who's this? He's like, there's a girl, but I don't think she's my type. Um, I've stunned Ricardo. Put him in dead in the middle of the yard. And he's like, what? I was so close to that tree over there. Hi, Ricardo. You're a beautiful boy. Yes, you are. He says, I know. What are you doing over here, buddy? You're supposed to stay with the rest of the gang. He says, oh, are you coming to pick me up again? Yes. Yes, you're a sweet baby. Yes, you are. He said, it's so much easier to get across this yard when you pick me up. Look, he is standing up so far. I mean, my finger's kind of touching him. But, uh, he's probably a foot and a half off the ground. He's like, come on, pick me up, pick me up. This guy loves to be handled. He 
There, you can see that he is quite a bit longer than her, but almost the same size around. It's really a good picture of them. Here's little Buttercup, she's shy now. And Nano. Now he's got a lot brighter yellow to him. To him. She's really golden in color, but of course she's about to shed, so she'll be a little more intense. 